Welcome to the 15th video in the Metric Math Water Wastewater YouTube series. Today's video is going to focus on finding the power in kilowatts needed and the flow rate and meters of pump lift are given, as well as the efficiency of the pump and the motor are provided. Some key background ideas or concepts that you have to keep in mind, which will influence the amount of power in kilowatts that will be drawn or needed in order for a pump to accomplish its goal. First concept is the higher the flow rate, the more water that you're going to pump through in a given period of time, means the pump is going to have to need more power. Okay, so that's the first one. Higher the flow rate, more power will be needed. Second variable is the higher that you have to lift the water against gravity, the harder the pump is going to have to work, and therefore more power will be needed, again in kilowatts. And the third one is just because you have power coming into the system doesn't mean that that's all going to translate into lifting water. Notice there's efficiency loss in the motor and the pump that will cause the output to be lessened. So if you still want to keep that output at the optimum level, you're going to have to increase your input of power in the form of kilowatts. So let's take a look at the key formula for this. Power in kilowatts equals flow rate in liters per second multiplied by the head. Now that's how much you're going to lift it, multiplied by 9.81. Notice that 9.81, that's the same value as in physics, the acceleration of gravity, 9.81 meters per second squared. So again, that ties in or that takes into account the effect that gravity is having that the pump has to fight against. Multiply those three numbers at the top, multiply all those together, get an answer bottom of the fraction is the pump efficiency in decimals. So like 89% would be 0.89. Motor efficiency, 80% would be 0 0.80. Multiply those together, multiply by 1,000, gets another number in the bottom. Then you would take the top number, answer, divided by the bottom number, answer, and you will get your final answer. Now let's take a look at the example question. What will be the power in kilowatts? Notice in kilowatts, not horsepower. What will be the power in kilowatts needed to lift 2.5 cubic meters per minute, a height of 31 meters if the motor is rated at 81% efficiency and the pump is rated at 89% efficiency? So let's take a look at the keywords. First of all, what's the flow rate? And in this case, the flow rate is 2.5 cubic meters per minute. Now notice this is not the unit that we are supposed to be using, liters per second. So there's going to have to be a conversion done to get to the right unit. Second one is how high do you have to lift the water? In this case, it's 31 meters. Third option, what's the motor efficiency? Well, it's, it's stated as 81%, and the pump efficiency is stated as 89%, or 0.89. Plug those numbers into the formula. The last thing that we have to look at is what unit is the question asking for, and notice the unit is in kilowatts. Now let's get on to the actual solution. But before we can plug all those numbers into the big formula, we have to do a conversion from cubic meters per minute to liters per second. So we know where we're starting, we know where we want to go. Let's start doing a conversion. The first, in my opinion, the easiest thing to do is convert cubic meters to liters, and you multiply that by 1,000. And notice how the cubic meters canceled out, and now you'll have about 2,500 liters per minute. But again, that's not in the right unit. We have to divide by 60 because there's 60 seconds in one minute. And again, notice how the units cancel out. And look what units are left over. We've got liters. Well, that's on the top. Good. And then there's a dividing sign, and then seconds is on the bottom. So we know that we have got it set up correctly, and the answer is about 41.67 liters per second. So we can take that answer and plug it into the formula. So the formula is given, and now plug the numbers in. Power in kilowatts is equal to your flow rate, 41.67 liters per second, times the head, or how much vertical distance you have to fight against. That's 31 meters and then multiply by 9.81, which we have already identified, divided by the efficiency of the motor, which is 0.89, 89% divided by 100 is 0 0.89, 0 0.81 efficiency of the motor, and then divided by 1,000 to get to the final answer, which is approximately 17.58 kilowatts. So notice you can just plug these numbers into the formula, 
But again, key thing is multiply the top numbers, get an answer. Multiply the bottom numbers, get an answer. Divide the top answer by the bottom answer and you will get your final answer. So now there's some variations off of this that you need to be aware of. Sometimes you need to find it in horsepower. Now this isn't in the class one or two traditional uh, metric exams, but there are some provinces that require you to do your calculations either imperial or metric. Key little tip here, just set up a ratio and take your kilowatts, divide by 0.746 and your answer will always be bigger. If you notice one horsepower is bigger than kilowatts, you will always get a bigger number of horsepower for the same amount of work done as an equal energy value for the kilowatts. So that's a key thing. Kilowatts to horsepower divide by 0.746. What happens if you have other fluids than water? That kicks in there. Notice you can put the specific gravity into there and that'll be a value. Notice for water it's one, so we don't have to worry about that at all. But if it's something that's lighter, less dense than water, like gasoline, for example, you don't need as many kilowatts. If it's more dense, like glycerol or, or some real heavy slurry or something like that, that number is going to be more than one, and then you're going to need more power. Now that we've finished off that formula, I want to point out an additional one that you might want to refer to. This is from the Canadian ABC formula conversion table that would be on your exam if you're writing the class one through class four water or wastewater. And notice it's a little bit simpler. Power in kilowatts equals flow in liters per second times head times 9.8 divided by 1,000. But notice this formula does not include pump efficiency and motor efficiency. It's provided in another formula on the sheet that's using gallons and all that type of stuff. It's on there, but you have to combine those two formulas together on your own to get the required one. And the formula that you see above with flow rate, head 9.8 divided by efficiency, efficiency and 1000 will cover that for you. So hopefully that clears up some of the questions there. Thanks again for watching this math video. Please check out the other videos in this channel. Please put in some comments and pass this site on to other water and wastewater students. Goodbye for now and have a good day.